and gave us a little bit. And I'm thinking about the Rex Foundation right now and the genesis of the Rex Foundation and what it means, what it meant then, what it means now. There's sort of two different sort of situations, you know, when it, when it began back in 1983 as an idea to give back to the community. It worked and it caught on. And the Grateful Dead as a band would play benefits to get, make dollars, to be able to give the dollars to people in the community. And it was just a, a beautiful thing. They gave away, I don't know, six, seven million dollars. And when Jerry passed away, and then the band sort of split up, what do you do? at the Rex Foundation. And a young lady who's our next guest sort of stepped in. And it's been her mission the last 12 years or so to kind of guide the scene along and not really sort of change the message. But this is a new world, this is a new time, a new scene. And so, you know, how do you do that? Sandy Socott is sitting next to me now. She's the executive director of the Rex Foundation. We're going to do a little bit of talking about that. Will you put your hands together for her? All right. <laughs> uh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, wonderful to have you with us. Thank you. Boy, you are an important lady. You're a, and you're a dynamic lady to me, it seems. You've done a lot with, I mean, yeah, you know, you, what, what in the world did you feel, Sandy? Uh, when you sort of started working with the Rex Foundation, do you, did you know what direction you were going? Not exactly. <laughs> it yeah. was, uh, I don't know, when I think back about it, uh, it was somewhat mysterious as to how this was all going to work. Um, I recall as I was interviewed about uh, doing the job that I was asked about putting on concerts because this was thought to be the way to raise funds, and it was the most familiar. And that's to, the way it was done earlier, right? With right, because we with came the, out of, we were born in the Grateful Dead concert world, yeah, yeah. Uh, came, came to be. And I remember saying that while I had put on some events here and there in my work in community groups, I had never done a rock concert, and I was told, don't worry, we know all about that, we'll take care of it. You know, you just kind of help uh. us kind of do our job. And, um, and so we, when I started, we actually had our very first benefit that we planned for December 1st, 2001. And uh, it was really quite uh, an unknown for me. We had Bob Weir and Mickey Hart uh, coming to play, as well as Bill Koitzman, and this was going to be the first time that they had ever and come back together Original again. members of the Grateful Dead. And it also happened, we, we were planning it, and then 9-11 occurred. And, and it was kind of a concern, like, is this something we can do? And, and, and we wound up calling it the healing power of music because we felt, and I know I myself felt that with all that was going on, that this perhaps was a really special way to bring people together in a positive way and have them feel like they could enjoy the music. And so we did decide to go ahead with the event. And um, I can remember Carolyn Garcia came and sat in a desk next to mine and kind of cheered me on <laughs> it was really quite challenging but thanks actually to a lot of support people that were part of the community really just helped out in all kinds of different ways from being volunteers to uh, just supporters and just really giving me the understanding of what to do and we wound up selling out the Warfield Theater um, and people just flowed in. We actually, I remember thinking, you know, is this the beginning or is this the end? And it turned out to be the beginning as we saw everybody just now, coming through. It's more than just sort of dead lovers and dead heads. It's uh, uh, just a whole sort of uh, same but different audience uh, uh, going to and attending your uh, your happenings you you do festivals right well we we take part in festivals you do, oh yes yeah. yes and, yeah. and 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 some of those festivals by the way whenever you're ready fellas we get a shot of the uh, 
the poster you brought up, beautiful poster. Thank you. It says, what does it say? I can't read it from here. Well, this poster, this came from our recent benefit that we did, December 1st. It was actually, again, December 1st, this time 2012, at the Fillmore. And we called the event a Buck Dancer's Choice, which for people who know Grateful Dead music, it came out of the song Uncle John's Band. And it was a in honor of John McIntyre, who had been a manager for the Grateful Dead, a member of the Rex board, very right, right. close Recently to the whole community, away. and he had passed away in February. So we wanted this to be in his honor. And we had this wonderful artist, Darren Brenner, a very talented woman who designed the poster for us, and I really love it. It's Great one of job, my favorites. Huh? But this huh. has been kind of emblematic of all the shows we do. We wind up creating beautiful artwork <coughs> and, uh, and I, it, it feels like we bring together communities of artists that want to help. Um, we, try, we, all, we do our best to give people compensation, though everybody contributes a good part of what they're doing. Lots of volunteers. Lots of volunteers, uh, lots of yeah. generous uh, offers of time and resources. And you were a deadhead. I when, was. Huh? Yeah, I when, think you always are, actually. I don't know if you ever lose that designation. <laughs> I don't I don't think you do, do you? No. Yeah. Uh, I, I, yes. I, uh, what I love about what you're doing is that the idea came. Uh, you know, an idea is uh, just a little sprout, a little something that needs nurturing, the watering, needs taking care of it, needs a, a guidance, it needs help to be healthy. And the idea of doing something for a community is huge and that it's not stopped or been abated or changed or unraveled or uh, you know too um, uh, money si uh, moneyed up uh, is a beautiful thing I, 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 I have big uh, strong feelings of sameness when I think about what you're doing and what the Rex Foundation uh, uh, is I, I do such thing with this little show. You have t you have come in after just a really a big broadside with Jerry's leaving and the the band and then taken taken it. It's a different scene. You had the dead there playing these benefits. They you know they make hundreds of thousands of dollars every night. It's a different time frame. Right. So we're very grassroots, not only in our giving but in just how we operate and. Um, Fortunately, it seems to have worked out. We've been able to give out, since we started this, another 1.5, almost $1.6 million, uh, top of the $7 million yeah. that the dead had already helped produce in their Rex Benefit show. So we're at 8.7, almost $8.8 .8 million now to over 1,000 programs. And to go, yeah, to go out to those uh, uh, who uh, benefit uh, strongly. So, I'm thinking, if I'm watching this show, oh, you give dollars to organizations, how do I get it? Well, you explain what you folks do on the Rex Foundation. Well, what, what's always been the tradition, and the, the idea was that Rex grants were to go to programs that were very grassroots, had budgets well under a million dollars, often under under 500000 sometimes under $200,000. And these were programs run by people on the ground working, didn't have development directors. So members of the board and the immediate Grateful Dead community would go out looking and finding programs and bring, do the due diligence and bring it to the board and the grants. I think that's really sort of cool because you know other places probably would tell you, well, just send us some paper you know, and explain what you do and we'll look over your application. <laughs> this is a, it's a, I think it's kind of a cool way to decide, you know, w what's what. And it really narrows down a lot of, a lot of paperwork, you know, for one thing. But I think it's a good way to sort of give out. The, 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 w w what now is the mission statement of the group? It's probably similar. Oh, by the way, we have some of this. This is, well, it's, we have some? Sure. It's panther urine. Oh, thank you. It's really, <laughs> it's incredible. About ten, you'll start coming on in about 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just because so, I said I was a deadhead? <laughs> well, well yeah, all these dead jokes. What, what's, what's, what, what, are the grateful, what are the Grateful Dead fans say when they ran out of pot? This band sucks. <laughs> 
Huh? I mean, there's all these, all these sort of things that, you know, and Lord knows they are known much more for the incredible things that they've done. Uh, even when they're in this, I just thought they were wild, nuts, wonderful, wacky, sort of American uh, group that was on the cutting edge of uh, many areas of music. Wonderful songwriting, this type of thing. But, but so the, well, the mission statement is similar to what it was when it started, right? We you, are you're trying to do for artistic, cultural uh, folks. Uh, what else? What, uh, what, uh. Well, we, our grants cover many different areas. Uh, organizations working toward a healthy environment. Yes, uh, yes. Protecting indigenous cultures, uh, education, providing social services. We really, I, I think what's really great uh, that I've come to see is that we can really help in almost any area. And I think when you're giving out smaller grants to grassroots programs, being able to help programs that are doing really good work. And we try to find programs that are doing what we call transformational work. They're really solving problems uh, in, in really original and innovative ways and making a big difference. Big time, huh? And if I'm, you know, you must in your mind be thinking that you're, you know, you're carrying on something very important not just a dead thing, you know, and, and that's, of course, that's 99% of, I guess, to some people, but you are carrying on the, uh, the you know, the further, further, you're furthering the idea that was born probably, who knows when, but in this case, on this particular uh, situation with the Rex Foundation, out, out of Garcia's mind or the dead's mind, and you built it and and nurtured it, and you and, and it's you know continuing to go on. What our society needs, because we have a just a terrible sort of issues in our society, in my opinion, just people that don't know each other, have no idea where they're going, what in the world is happening, uh, we're willing to believe anything anybody says. This this fosters, it nurtures creativity uh, uh, in our culture. I just think that's beautiful, Sandy. Well, thank you. That's what we're trying to do. I think uh, it's always been a concern to me that people don't feel connected or feel like they can help make a difference. And I think if we can help be a, a vehicle for that, for people to feel connected and see that they're, whether they make a $5 contribution or a $5,000 contribution, that it all adds up and makes a, a really big difference in the community. Well, you know, for a girl, that, I guess you were born in Miami, <laughs> and then you come out here to California, and you're deadhead, and you got your your masters, and you're all a bachelors, had your own business, and then to end to start another life as uh, the executive director of the Rex Foundation, you haven't done too shabby. You've actually done quite quite well. And talking with your husband, he just talks talks uh, <coughs> lots about you and what you've done and the type of individual you are. So I just want to thank you for coming and sharing information. And as we've been talking, we put the, the number, or the, the, how to get a hold of the, the Rex Foundation to get more information. Great. We appreciate it. Look forward to having anybody get in touch. Thank you. You're a Pleasure. sweetheart. Thanks so much, Sandy. Thank you. Yeah, put your hands together, please. Sandy. <laughs> Sandy Soka. Thank, thank you. you. I hope it was okay for you. Yeah. Good. Yeah, good. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Well, are you doing all right? Good.